So, Amber, tell me, <laughs> how difficult was the decision to pick prison? Do you think it saved your life? Yeah, prison saved my life. I, um, you know, I had already been through rehab and drug court and house arrest. I've did everything uh, you probably can possibly do outside of prison. <laughs> and nothing was working. So, you know, I, I just kind of knew that um, I needed something extreme to actually change me. I'm kind of boy-headed. So um, it was the most terrifying day of my life, but um, I had to do it. Yeah. So when you get into prison, does Leah ever come see you in prison, or do you have to go that whole time without seeing her? She only came and saw me three times. Um, you know, but every time I did see her, it just gave me motivation to get out. Um, my main motivation to get out of prison was her. And she was my main motivation going in. Um, nothing else was changing me. So, And Kaylin, so yeah. now you have a, two kids. Yeah. You know, one wasn't enough. Got to hurry and get that second kid. <laughs> How much more difficult is life with two kids? Um, It's it's hard. It's more exhausting than anything else, especially because I'm a full-time student. Um, and Javi is in the military, so he works full-time. Um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. What do you do with the kids when you're at school? Javi's at work. How do you handle that? Uh, my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law watches the kids for me. They come to Delaware every day. And so you get have great relationship with the family. Yeah, yeah. And on the show, I feel like Joe's parents were so understanding when everything happened. I mean, understand that you guys, you know, have a little uh, animosity, but how helpful were they in the whole process? Because your mom wasn't around. If it wasn't for Joe and his family, I, we, I wouldn't have anywhere to go. I would have lived in probably a shelter or something. Um, so they were they were really there for me when I needed them. It was awesome. On the show, Joe and you butt heads a lot mm -hmm. because of visitation, this and that. Want to see him more days. Would you say Joe is a good parent? Yeah, to the best of his ability. Yes, I would. <laughs> Which means not all the time. He's not always there. <laughs> I'm I'm the mom, so I have different standards you know so i i don't know i just feel like nothing compares to the job that i do what about javi how is javi with is it weird for him to be a stepfather does it i do wouldn't say it's weird it's not weird i think he does a good job no i do too but okay. i'm just saying like does he show i mean i don't know i don't have kids so i don't know how it would be coming into a relationship was it overwhelming at first when you start dating? Do you tell him right away? When you start dating someone, do you tell him right away, hey, I have a kid? Yes. Yeah. I yeah. introduced Isaac to Javi before we were dating because when we were just friends, in case it didn't work out, it wasn't really meeting a boyfriend. It was just meeting a friend. You see what I'm saying? Right. So when it became kind of serious. It's hiding that anyway, yeah. especially when you're on TV. Right. <laughs> you're on they TV kind all of, the time. They kind of know. About what about going out already? in public? Can you go out in public without people walking up to you everywhere? My Not show usually. hasn't been on for like over two and a half years so it's actually a lot better than it used to be it used to be crazy but i'm guessing when the show comes back on it's going to be crazy once again but i'm enjoying this little like um privacy privacy i'm having right now yeah you caitlin no people come up to us all the time <laughs> even my friends my friends get recognized from being on the show really yes <laughs> and do you find that bothersome um, sometimes like when you're out to eat dinner. if i'm eating and people are taking pictures of me with my mouth full yeah that I do. <laughs> I like ask for a picture. I'll gladly take one, but don't take pictures of me stuff right. in my face. And what about people like crazy fans? Like, I mean, I'm not crazy, but there are crazy <laughs> fans out there. Do they just show up at your house? I've had letters written to me, oh but no one gosh. actually shows up. I've had people show up at my house, knocking on my door. Like, yes, till this day, till even at my new house. It's and so what do crazy. you say? I put a smile on. I look like crap. I probably just woke up and I'm like, Hi. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's me. This is my house. This is where I live. You know, like. <laughs> Does that scare you that having yeah. people know where you live with your family? Um, I mean, it, 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 yeah, if there's a weirdo is coming, but usually it's like teenage girls and their moms. So no 33-year-old single males that are huge fans of the show. Uh, that's I've, usually my Twitter. I had a 47-year-old <laughs> write me a letter. So. And what does it say? It just says that he's a fan and he loves the show and I I don't it's flattering but weird because I just I'm scared there's like a shrine in his basement or something. <laughs> <laughs> and do you like are you friends with each other like other girls that are on the show do you yeah. guys communicate your friends are there any ones you don't like tell me who you don't like. I love everyone. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to tell us? 
Uh, I mean, of course, like me, Macy, Caitlin, we're all really close, and we've been through a lot. And um, I'm still uh, good with Farah too. No, Farah's gone off the deep end, guys. Uh, Farah's not on the new show with us, but still, you know, I keep communication with her. I'm not one to judge anybody, obviously, so I'm very... Um, but the new uh, Team Mom 2 girls, um, I mean, I never really met them before because, I, I mean, I kind of just got out of prison not too long ago, and... Um, but I did get to meet them. They're all really sweet, and like she's really awesome. This is the first time like hanging out for. Like, oh, a this few is days. like the first time you've hung out. Like yeah, we yeah. Met a couple weeks ago for like the ask there was, the like, mom ask special. the mom for it was season one, but like the original girls and Teen Mom Two girls. That was the first time we had all been together at the same place. So how long out do you film those like with Doctor Drew? You know where you sit on the couch. Like how far out do we see the season? Like how long ago did you film this? Most recent season of Teen Mom 2. We finished wrapping the same week we filmed the reunion. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're and not we're seeing it for like filming. six months. No. Um. Our season ends, I think, in October because it's on Wednesday nights at 10 now. Right. Oh, so. yeah. I watch Teen Mom. I tweet along. <laughs> do tweet alongs all the time. Yeah. You should tweet me. I do live tweeting. Okay. I do. I get some replies from Chelsea every once in a while and her yeah? dad. Oh, they yeah. reply to me every once in a while and I get all excited. I'm like, oh, Papa Randy. <laughs> It's so cool. But the only problem with tagging in the tweet, it's hard because you run out of characters. Yeah. And with 140 characters, I'm going tweet along and I always have to hashtag pimp and joy. It's my little thing. <laughs> and so, and I hashtag teen mom too. So that's a lot of my tweet is already taken up in hashtags, but I'll try to include you in the tweets. So yeah. tell us like, how is life different when you come out of prison? How hard was it to adjust back to life? It was insane. I was used to like living this little humble kind of life with nothing in there and um to come out and have cameras in my face and actually you know a couple months later like hey we're gonna do this show um you know like it was just insane like i thought in prison everybody's gonna forget about me and i was okay with that actually because <laughs> you know i'd have a little break but uh i mean my life is crazy like i literally went from crazy life to prison and now out to crazy life again only i have more control over my life now than i did before with the Oh, it's okay, Lincoln. It's okay, oh. buddy. <laughs> with the money, because you're making a little bit of money with this, with the you know the seasons. Do you does some of it have to go to the kids when they come to you? Is it like okay, some goes in this bank account, or is it all for you and you do whatever you want with the money? I opened up a college Gerber Life Fund for Leah already, and she has she's set for college right now. Um, they don't necessarily do that for you, but you have that option. I yeah. set up two trust funds for like each of my kids have trust funds. And they're essentially their college is paid for. Yeah. Man, see that's smart. I don't even know what a trust fund is, but it sounds really intelligent. <laughs> sounds like it's really important. But yeah, I just didn't know how money worked. Like if they come to you and say, "Okay, we'll pay you, but fifty percent has to go to the kid," or it's all up to you what you do with your money. They pretty much let it be up to you. But if you're smart, that's what you'll you, do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to promote? Anything else you want to talk about? Because this is so awesome. I'm um, so excited. Our, just our internet book signing, um, autographaroo.com, 8.30 Central and 10 Central. And 10, yeah. That's awesome. And well, get uh, Never Too Late. Get my book Never Too Late. I think it's inspiring. It's so great to meet you guys. I am such huge fans. It's so crazy. Thanks All for right. having us. Yeah! Woo! <laughs> we did it! We did it!